Hey guys, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to verify uh, keys on Linux now, keys and hashes on Linux now. Uh, so same process, going to the session website here, uh, or get session, and you'll be able to see the signatures or the GitHub. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is add the key that signed this release. So you can see it says KeyJeff here. Um, so I'm going to go here, copy this, and paste up in the top here. This is going to give me the actual public key that signed this release. So we're going to copy this and we're going to go into a terminal here and we're going to type gpg dash dash import. Click enter. Then we're going to paste the key in uh, and then we're going to click uh, or um, press control and D at the same time. Cool. We have to do that one twice uh, and then it's going to add the key. I've already added uh, my key. But if you haven't, uh, it'll kind of have some different text here about uh, adding the key and which email address it's from. Uh, so now we're going to go back uh, to the releases page and we're actually going to get the PGP signed message. So this is the entire text here, which contains the hashes as well. We're going to do gpg dash dash verify. Cool. And we're going to paste that block in. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing, control D, control D, and it'll say either a good or a bad signature. You can see it says good signature from Key Jeffries. Um, it says that this key is not um, certified with a trusted signature. That just means that no one has like, signed my key as being uh, my key. But you can see it's on my Twitter and it's in the GitHub, so uh, it's pretty trusted through those external sources as well. Uh, so now that we've verified the signature, we also need to verify the hashes. So, for example, I've already downloaded, uh, let me move this to the side, I've downloaded the um, Session Messenger desktop app image here, which is relevant if you're uh, running on Linux. Um, but you could do this with any part of uh, the software, any uh, part of these binaries that you downloaded here. But yeah, I'm going to verify uh, that this matches up with everything. So. I'm already on this path, so I can just do uh, SHA, and we'll check also, it's SHA-256 hashes, which it says up here. Um, so I want to SHA-256 hash this, and then compare that it's the same uh, there. So I'm going to do uh, SHA-256 uh, so, 256 sum. Uh, yeah, I think it's sum. Uh, and then I'm going to pass the file name, which is uh, session, I can do an autocomplete here and it's going to give me uh, the hash, which is this uh, here. So I'm just gonna check that against what I validated earlier, which I guess is up here as well. Um, it's the app image, so 55C, and you can just kind of compare visually that the last characters are matching as well. And you can see it's the same, it's the same signature, um, or it's the same uh, hash on both. Uh, both sides here. So now we've kind of effectively verified that this message was signed by someone who was on the core team and that the hashes uh, of the file that I have locally are the hashes that that person signed as well. So that's kind of how you do this process on Linux.